I've just gone swimming with the kids and Andy's home today. I'm going to be getting stuff done in this video. And we'll do a little try on with the new brown skirt that I thrifted from Thread Up in this video. And we'll go run some errands together and get some stuff done. I've been changing my nail polish every week to something really light and simple. I got that tip from Jennifer at the Daily Connoisseur. This is actually the nail polish she recommended for that. I'll leave a link below as well, but this stuff lasts all week long. I am actually on day seven with this. It's a little bit chippy by this day, but I did a lot of gardening this week. So I have put it to the test with dishes, with gardening. Chogum. Uh, usually by the end of the week, it's pretty chippy and needs to be redone. But I have never met a nail polish that lasts this long for me. This just came in the mail today. I'm pretty excited about this brand. Um, they're a very sustainably focused brand. I treated myself to the next size down in yoga pants. Pretty excited to try those on. Um, but that's not what we're doing. We are doing this. Um, okay, so I got this brown skirt from Thread Up. I tried it on in a previous video. And then, and I really didn't have any options I liked to go with it shirt wise. So I found this at Goodwill. It's an Alfani that had newest tags and I got it for two bucks. This is from Free People. Price tag was $98. New with tags, I got it for $30 off of Poshmark. Really glad you guys turned me on to that. So it's secondhand. Um, I didn't like the open front. I didn't notice that part. So I got this one from Target to wear underneath and I bought a large. I, it was a little risky because I'm in an extra large. So we're gonna try that on and see if that fits. I got this one from Everlane to go with the brown skirt. And this is sort of a stretch for me. It's pretty low back. This is this is really like out of my style zone. I made that choice on purpose. I made that purchase deliberately because I am trying to wear clothes that fit, not clothes that cover. This is what I wear under the skirts that I have. I get mine from Target, their jockey brand. I love it. It's really, it's very comfortable. I pro it's, it's pretty loose up here. I probably could have done with a large instead of an extra large. Um, I like how it lays on top of the skirt. This is how the back looks. This is just the cami tank that I bought to wear underneath the Free People blouse. <laughs> kind of like it just like this. Got it. Well, that's not right. This looks ridiculous. This triangle situation, this looks ridiculous. Um, I gotta figure out something to wear. So this is not a solution either, clearly. So what I'm gonna do is, I have this tube top I was gonna try. I'm gonna have my mom sew this part and seam it so that I can wear it regular, like this. Like you're, it's probably intended to wear, but I'm not that kind of girl, so. I have a drawer in my bathroom where I keep all my everyday things in one place. It makes it very nice and easy to get dressed and get ready for the day when I don't have to hunt around for anything in other cabinets or drawers or whatever. This is my everyday stuff. So I've already put the stuff in my hair. I need to do my makeup and my deodorant. My deodorant is native. I get their plastic free version. It is the same formula as their regular deodorant. It's just in different packaging, a more sustainable choice. It is made from paperboard. It dries super fast. It is not sticky. It smells great. The one I really like is this Cotton and Lily. I also have lavender and rose, and the lavender is just a very calming smell. I also have the aloe and green tea, and the aloe mixed with the green tea makes it smell very fresh. 
It's aluminum free, paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan. Part of the reason I like native is that they are committed to sourcing from responsibly managed forests. And they are a member of the 1% for the planet movement. Three plastic free deodorants are normally $39. With my linking code, you can get them for $29. Thank you to Native for sponsoring this minute in the video. Actually, someone emailed me yesterday asking me if I'm still using my makeup that I bought from Etsy and River Organics, and I most certainly am. Um, the one from River Organics I got is the blush and their lip. And then from Dab Makeup on Etsy, I have some eyeshadow, luminescence, primer, secondary container of the foundation that I tried with their sample. I loved it. So um, yes, I am still very much using it and I am still cleaning my brushes with the way you guys told me to clean my brushes. So thank you for that. <laughs> Need to get to getting stuff done here. I follow Molly Sims on Instagram and I love when she does her little reels with her lipstick and she does like three different kinds that she tries on with whatever outfit. She's also hilarious and a mom and so anyway, uh, I digress. I can't read things without my glasses. Yep, that's the powder. Okie dokie, artichokey. All right, I did my moisturizer, my makeup. What do I need? I need jewelry and nails. It's still very much my jewelry box after I decluttered my bedroom. I have the, the bracelet from my grandmother and then a bunch of smaller light braces that don't bother me. I don't like anything super heavy on my wrist. This is my travel <laughs> uh, jewelry case. Works. Kids can't get in it. Nothing spills out. Okay. This stuff lasts all week dries fast, has survived my amateur gardening skills. I don't wear gloves. I really just get in there and get my hands in the dirt. I find it very therapeutic. So it has survived even that. And I just do two coats. It lasts me all week. I don't even put a top coat on. That's how great this stuff is. One of my errands is to get new nightstands for us. This one needs to go downstairs behind the couch with the other one that I moved months ago. It's not doing the job for us. Andy wants it this height, but like twice as wide. He doesn't have enough room. Boys, have fun. Okay. Okay. Love you. Love you. Here, I'll stand in front of the television, then I'll feel like you're looking at me when you tell me you love me. I love you. find money like when we're unpacking boxes and stuff there's no one behind me in line right now so i am just gonna stuff my envelopes right now and be done with it so i keep my wallet my inhaler my keys and our cash envelope system right in my purse and then when I get the money out that we need, I, I put it in there right away. I don't want it sitting in my wallet, tempting me to spend it. So it is earmarked in our budget for something that we need to save for. Haircuts, I'll show you my system. Haircuts, music lessons we pay in cash. Date night, I like to pay in cash. When we go out to eat, like to pay in cash. Need Two weeks of music lessons, $64 each week. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I save my ones when they get changed specifically for music lessons. Okay. There's one. 
I need 74 haircuts. That includes tip. I always like to get tip in cash. And I love these Mac machines that let you choose the uh, 20s, 10s, and 5s that you want. So I can just automatically, at the Mac machine, get exactly the dollar bill that I want. Three, four, five. It's usually about $100. So I'm putting 120 in dining out. Yes, it's usually a hundred bucks for a family of five to eat out in Annapolis. Annapolis is atrociously expensive, which leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, $150 for our next date night, which is exactly what I earmarked in our budget. So I happen to have exactly the cash I wanted to have today. Did that on purpose, zipped it up. Back in my purse, here's my money for today. We are at TJ Maxx and Panera. I have parked in the middle of them so that I maximize my steps while I'm doing it. Iced to meet you. See what you did there. I got the strawberry poppy seed salad without pecans and I forgot how freezing cold Panera bread always is. So I'm gonna eat really fast and go over to TJ Maxx. My kids love Panera Bread chips, so I'm just going to put these in the car and then keep on walking to TJ Maxx. I love shopping in TJ Maxx. I love window shopping and looking at all the Ray Dunn things that I probably would have bought in my former life. I love all kinds of office organization and desk organization. I'm not gonna buy anything for myself, but I love to look at it and imagine how I would use it, but it really isn't my style anymore. But I do, just, I love the idea of all of this organization. Good vibes, good vibes only. According to Cast the Clutterbug, I am a butterfly and I need to see all the things or else I don't remember that I have them. So one of her recommendations is like this open storage where you can see through. Uh, it's very farmhouse style, which I also gravitate towards. Just a couple months ago, I donated this decor blue truck with sunflowers the blue and the yellow together this shelf <laughs> i love it so much but i'm not gonna buy anything from it because i just donated this entire theme from i used to use it for summer but the stuff is just so cute Wait, what? Fall stuff is out already? Oh, look at this little guy though. I'm not ready for fall decor. I'm not ready for fall. This stuff is really cute though, isn't it? But no, why is it out here already? Every time I treat myself to a trip to TJ Maxx, I treat Ranger to some toys. I try to find the most indestructible looking ones for him because he really chews through them in five minutes. All right, I got him this one. You gotta work pretty hard to make it squeak. And uh, it's thick-walled rubber dog toy. So it should 
this is going to be a yard toy make it a little easier to throw than the one he has now he actually was unable to destruct the toys we have in the yard for him um, he's a chewer a heavy chewer and he has not been able to break apart the Kongs that I have for him in the backyard that we throw and this is pretty similar and then his inside toys takes him like five minutes to chew apart but these fire hose ones <laughs> usually last a good 20 minutes before he gets to the squeaker. <laughs> There's a home sense and a home goods right down the street. So I'm gonna check those out too. What is up with the fall stuff? I'm really not ready. Oh, look at this though. It's way done with the blue truck. Oh, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. Does anybody else have to go into the store and like touch all the things? I mean, I just. Oh, wait, these might work, but oh, it's a five piece set, they're not selling individually. Okay, I found nothing suitable at Home Sense. I didn't feel like going to Home Goods. I'm a little shopped out. My shopping habits have changed. So previously, I would have absolutely just chosen one and bought it and brought it home. And then probably would have not liked it in a week. Well, that's what led to a mountain of debt that we are really quickly digging ourselves out of by not shopping like that anymore. <laughs> So I'm going to do a little online looking. He wants it 18 inches from the wall and 24 inches high. And I didn't really find anything that would look right with our bed frame or our furniture or that I liked. Like I wanted to look at every day. So, all right, what else did I have to do today? Well, it's four, it's coming up on dinner time. So Andy's grilling out. I'm going to go home. I think I did all my stuff. No, I didn't didn't go to target my target is a two-level target so i'm in the parking garage and they're uh parking spaces wow i need to eat some carbs today parking spaces uh, are all numbered now and you just pull up you put in your number and then they come out and bring in your stuff i i really hope they don't ever do away with target curbside even when the pandemic is over you don't go in I don't spend extra money. <laughs> I literally get the things we need. Diapers, school supplies. <laughs> My boys were playing with magnetiles a couple days ago and they were building an empire and they actually made a target and then made parking spaces for target drive up. <laughs> Alrighty, here's what I got. Um, inch and a half binder to hold my, my um, morning baskets curriculum. We're doing wild reading and I can customize it to all three kids. I needed something for my teacher guide. So that's what that's for. And then I got air dry clay. Oh, heavy. Um, so we're gonna use this. The art book that I'm using calls for clay. Huh. I'm gonna take my goodies inside and it's warm, but nice. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in a walk before Andy starts grilling burgers. Oh, I got a bunch of books to return to the library. So I'll walk to the library and return them. And wear my new pants. Okay, can't open the door and hold my phone. <laughs> there we go. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, is that for you? Is that for you? Huh? You good boys? 
Wanna see? Which one do you want first? Let's see. Guess should get that one first. You like this one? <gasps> you like this one? Okay, good boy. That's a good boy. Here you go. Here, let me take the tag off for you. Uh oh, OJ, oh, guys. I know you're so excited. Oh, sit. Sit. <laughs> I know. Here you go. He's a good boy. <laughs> I always get you a toy. This rug is all out of alignment. <gasps> is Daddy going to come take your toy? Is Daddy going to come? <laughs> Daddy going to come take your toy? Smells like cake. Probably the toast. Huh? He's as tall as you. Okay. Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Wow. These are really comfortable. They're so soft. Organic cotton. That's why. <laughs> okay. These are organic cotton cropped pocket leggings from Pack. So now my shoes. If I look to put shoes on the bed. I'm still struggling to get my shoes on. And that's flexibility. I can do this. I can come down here and get to them. This is one way I do it. I used to not be able to get to my shoes. I used to not be able to do this. So, things are improving. And then I gotta get back up. It's just really uncomfortable. My other ones were definitely too big, because these fit. Okay, this is the stack of library books that need to go back, that we're done with. This bag is so heavy. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it like it's it's extra weight while walking, so it's it's gonna boost my workout. This was a terrible idea. This bag is so heavy, my arm hurts. This was a terrible idea, but I'm almost there. <sighs> Five bucks. I think using the iPhone is definitely under recording my steps because it's saying it took me 20 steps to get to the library. It takes me more than that to get down my driveway. <laughs> Not that the step count really honestly matters because either way I'm doing the walk and that's fine. I get credit for the walk and I give myself credit for the walk and I'm trying to hit 10,000 so I don't think it's going to be as hard as I thought it was because I think I'm walking more steps than I am being credited with. This is the pedometer that someone emailed me and recommended. It was only 27 bucks on Amazon, so I went with it. She said it was really accurate for her and it has the um, tri-axis so that no matter which way it's sitting on you, it's recording accurately. Thank you for getting some stuff done today with me and here's another video.